It's the 19th of December. Welcome to the Narrow Book that James built. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. The boat is there where it was last night. And right next to the boat is my car. That was the best parking canal side location ever. A friend of the channel, Will, has come down this morning. There he is. He's helping me move the boat, basically just on the other side of the Iron Bridge. Someone messaged me this morning saying there's a couple of spaces down there. I can see one at least. So we're gonna rope the boat down there, basically. So this bit here will be fine. The lock will obviously be fine, but I don't know if you can see Bodicea there, but she's got a rather tall chimney. I mean, insanely tall. So that's going to pose us a bit of a problem. The other boat won't. Well, the first part of our journey has gone well. I'm not 100% sure Will would agree. And we're just coming into our first lock. Do you want a carrot? Well, there's definitely a gap down there for us. But Bodicea's chimney is gonna cause us a bit of a problem. Hopefully they're on board. Yeah. But we're gonna aim for that space there. This has been the most peaceful lock ever without the engine running. Wheels going up ahead to go on to Bodicea and now I'm coasting very, very slowly. Got, once we pass this one, that should be a little bit easier. Will's just going to check on board and see if there's anyone on there. If there isn't, that's probably okay. If there is, I think that's probably still okay. Right, well, we've just done boat to see her. Okay. What well I mate. Let's fend us off. Right, I'll get back on board, mate, and then, um, so I'll go the other side of this boat here, yeah? Wheels like a modern day horse getting caught up in the ropes there. No offense. Oh, we got down to the marina, ish. Not exactly in style. Right, two more boats to go. And then it's our little spot. Nearly there. Well, here we are. Home for the next few days. After moving the boat, we're sitting down for eggs and bacon. 
Perfect. Well, here we are all moored up. Um, it was really useful having Will here earlier. He's gone home now. Um, but yeah, thanks Will for popping down uh, or popping up uh, to help. It would have been really hard to, I was half expecting basically every boat to be occupied and for me to say, oh, do you mind if I just move the rope over and then help, come out and help and that. But all the boats were unoccupied. So, um, which on one side is good because it means you can kind of give a courteous knock and then um, kind of climb on board, uh, just round the gunnels. I mean, rather that than us colliding in, I'm sure boat owners would rather us do that. Um, and make sure the boats don't collide or anything and you know throwing ropes over boats with solar panels and chimneys and stuff you can knock so much stuff off so i think this was the safer more i'd prefer someone to do that to my boat rather than chucking lines over my uh, my panels and my chimney and this and the other and knocking stuff off so um uh yeah but we got down here i think it was like five or six boats we had to uh kind of navigate around um, so, uh, yeah, good little spot. We're on rings here. So, I mean, it's so, it's so easy pulling up on rings. You don't have to do anything. Just literally wrap, wrap the line through it and you're done. Um, you know, chains and nappy pins are, are much better than pins, but yeah, rings, that is, uh, that's the way forward. I don't see why the CRT don't bang them in all up and down the cut. Certainly if they want people to be in certain areas rather than other areas, which is the current way of their thinking. I've run out of sugar, which is no good thing. I've got one of my little Costa coffee sugars left, which means I need to go out. But I need to go out anyway. I need to move the car. And I've had a few people ask me, what do I do about the car, car parking, this that, and the other. And it's all pretty valid. Um, and I've now moved to an area where I don't know like the back roads and stuff particularly well. So uh, I will show you what I do. And uh, but today is slightly different because in my car is my um, uh, is my bike. So there's a residential road here at the bottom, but. Basically, it's just up and down one big hill in the morning and after work, which I don't really fancy, and then cycling along a load of mud, which is not going to be very good for my suit. So I'm going to get out of this area, go on the other side of the bridge and see if I can find somewhere at towpath level on the other side of Croxley. Knowing the week I have coming up, I'm thinking this might be a good little place to stop because it's an easy cycle, kind of down there and down the towpath, but also it's quite an easy walk. So if I can't bother to cycle or if um, my attire doesn't allow for it, where's reverse, there it is, then um, I can just walk it. Or if I've got the kids or anything like that, it means I'm not restricted in any way. So this will be fine. This is a five minute cycle and a 10 minute walk well my new foldable bike is in place and I'll show you this so this is that inverter so in there I've got three things charging at the moment one is my phone the second one is my headlight for my well, my torch and the third one is the charger for this saw because I need to go out and find myself a bit of timber This folding bike is so much better than the one I borrowed. I think it was my dad's. Because um, that one had little wheels. And there's no centre of gravity. Well, it's not exactly a low centre of gravity if you've got small wheels. Whereas this one's got full size. I don't know, what are they? 20 inch, 28 inch or whatever they are. Go on, mate, you go. So this 
so yeah where i've parked is a, a good little spot it's quite well it's on the same level as the boat it's all quite flat so if i cycle it's nice and easy you know if i've got to walk that's obviously easy um, but also it's all paved all the way so again it's easy for cycling but it means i won't kind of ruin my work suit or anything like that whoa blimey. haven't cycled one-handed for about since Nirvana were in the charts. This is good here because the designated cycleway. I'll say you don't have to worry about cars and stuff. a bit of a weird clicking sound going on on the bike so we might get to the boat and check it out quickly so here we are this might be a bit dodge Well, that's where the bike folds up when it's not being used. Which is great, it's nicely out of the way. Um, I can't fit it in the garage without taking the handlebars off, which I can't be bothered to do. So it stays there. I've got a chain which goes around that upright there, which is anchored at the bottom, and that goes through the frame and both wheels. The chain weighs a bloody ton, um, and the uh, padlock isn't exactly uh, insufficient either but it keeps it nice and secure but in fairness you can't really see it either um, and then I put stuff up against it so you don't see any reflections of reflectors. Well, so here I am I think I'm in my destination for Christmas I can't see I can't see the boat going much further than this uh, this year. Um, the good news is I broke down kind of a stone throw away from a marina um, and in that marina, they have the facilities and the knowledge to fix this. So that's, you know, there are worse places to break down. Um, the upshot of all of this is that um, I spoke to loads of people yesterday. Uh, lots of people got in touch through Facebook and other ways and through, you know, obviously the channel. Um, and pretty much everyone's saying the same the same thing. It's um, as, as to what the problem, or, you know, what's happened to the, to the prop shaft. So it looks like it has um, kind of sheared, sheared off. Um, the reasons to why that's happened is more important. So was it something that hit the prop? Was it something that hit the end? Or was it the engine rear, uh, coming out of line? Um, did that have something to do with being grounded? D don't know. Um, so it needs someone to properly investigate it. That person is not me. Um, it, I, I, I do want to treat the engine to a bit of a... Um, or to, to someone that really knows what they're doing, someone has been around Listers a long time, it's an SL gearbox, um, someone who knows this stuff. The, the other important thing is we're hoping we haven't damaged the gearbox. Um, if it's just the prop um, and, the, uh, and the coupling and things, you know, these are, these are manageable. Um, Narrowboat Hands got in touch yesterday and he does seem to think that we can get this done in the water as opposed to using the crane, which cost-wise just, you know, is, 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 a, is a massive thing. Um, so I know, to be honest, I'm hoping that this is all going to be achievable within a, you know, a decent budget, which I've got and should, it should, it should all be fine. To be honest, I think the only major unknown 
is timing. It's, you know, uh, I haven't even spoken to the guys over the way yet, so I don't know what kind of schedule they're looking at at all. Um, I've made it clear to them that I'm, I wouldn't say I'm in a dire need to get moving quickly, but, you know, I'm on, I'm on a bit of a schedule, so they're aware of that. Um, it's got to be done before May, for example. So um, we'll see. We'll see what, what they say. Hopefully I'll speak to them tomorrow. Hopefully they'll be able to pop over and have a look at the boat tomorrow. I'm only a really kind of maybe a one or two very strong pushes away from the marina. Otherwise, I'll have to go over the bridge and walk around this way. Um, so we'll see, we'll, we'll see what lies in store. But I don't think it's as um, necessarily as bad as I thought it was going to be yesterday. So I've had a few kind of hours to think about it and to digest what's happened and things like that. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, a boat sunk. Um, capsized exactly in the same way that mine nearly did yesterday in exactly the same pound um, the week before. So CRT uh, are obviously aware of what's happened. People have said, is there any recourse back to them? You know, of course not. Their job is to maintain the water levels. Uh, they're not responsible for the amount of water going into them. Um, that's nature and rainfall that is responsible for that. Y yeah, they've got to keep the sides and the locks good I mean look that that lock gate was just horrific but that's not where all the water was escaping from the water was escaping from the pound itself so um you know there's a vast amount of work that needs to be done in that area and I'm not going to pass back through it until it's done it until it's either done or I'm going through in some kind of um storm with a vast amount of rainfall um so it just can't empty uh, otherwise it's yeah, I'm going to give that area a whole wide berth but this is okay. Croxley's nice. Um, it's not far from my parents. It's on the Met line. It's good for the kids. So you know this is this is this is good. I've been made to feel really at home, which has been lovely. Um, I got a Christmas card. Well, I got a knock on the boat a while ago. Um, someone dropped off some um, uh, some chocolates and a Christmas card. So to James, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Really enjoying the vlogs. Regards, Peter and family. Um, mate, it's really nice to meet to, to have met you. Sorry, it's a bit dark. So maybe come over sometime some other time this week you know where i am i'm not exactly going far um always nice to meet someone who watches the channel he's watched it from the start doesn't own a narrow boat um so i, I always find that amazing people who watch this stuff not living on a narrow boat i guess he lives near the canal so you know interesting that way but thank you mate you made me feel really uh really welcome um so uh yeah I, I'm, I'm i'm looking forward to spending what looks like my Christmas in Croxley uh, but I've met a few of the boaters up here already everyone's really cool um, I've gone over and explained to a couple of them already that I had to climb on their boats today to get mine done and everyone's you know cool about it the last thing anyone wants is a boat to crash into their boat but if someone's on it moving it around carefully no one's got a problem with that I certainly wouldn't have and nor do they so um, yeah it's all kind of just hanging in the balance now uh, as to what the guys over the way say this week, though, I'm, um, I've got Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday at work, Thursday and Friday are off. Then I've got the whole of kind of Christmas off, back to work in the new year. Um, and you really just want to get loads more work done on the boat. I've got the kids for some parts of the Christmas holidays, but not all of it. Um, so it's just going to be the normal juggling act, as always. But um, now the boat's here. This is good. This is really good. I'm delighted. I'm I'm here. I can settle here now. It's not like you know. If this, if I'd broken down, even by the grove, um, it would have just been so much worse. Um, you know, to get you know, you're then relying on a mobile mechanic and everything like this. I mean, quite frankly, I broke down opposite a really decent marina, so I think Lady Luck was on my side a bit then. So, uh, anyways, thank you everyone for your kind thoughts and your feedback on yesterday's video and everything like that. The only important thing is that the boat's all right and yeah i'm all right but most importantly the boat's all right and after hearing that guy who phoned me last night saying about him capsizing it's like whoa things can so easily go wrong on the canals and um yeah glad it didn't for me yesterday but anyway keep yourselves safe out there until next time bye bye